He was traveling inside his red pickup truck on Yarbor Road en route to his home on Dickerson Street. Aurel Leslie was on the phone with his girlfriend and less than two blocks away from his house. As he approached the pedestrian crossing in front of Mount Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church, Leslie was ambushed by two gunmen who unleashed a barrage of bullets in his direction. He told his girlfriend that he was shot and later lost consciousness before crashing into a tree and fence at the St. John's Anglican Cathedral. Upon the arrival, they found one or a listed, uh, 34 years, uh, with gunshot injuries to the body. Information receives that he was passing in that area when he was approached by two male persons who fired several shots uh, at his direction uh, whilst he was inside the vehicle. Reports are that even after he drove off, the gunmen ran up to the crashed vehicle to unleash another barrage of bullets on Leslie. Moments after the shooting, his girlfriend arrived on the scene. She combed the vehicle before police arrived on the scene and Leslie was rushed to the Belize Medical Associates where he was pronounced dead on arrival. A quick police response led to the detention of two male persons on a motorcycle suspected to be the shooters. A record from them was one 9mm pistol with two extended clips. Okay. Investigation into this matter continues. Sir, but um, I, we have received reports that uh, automatic type weapon was used and we know that uh, we received reports also that uh, 40 caliber rounds were found. Um, uh, these weapons are not automatic, they are uh, semi-automatic, it's a 9mm pistol and a 40 caliber weapon. 9mm, okay so but only the 9mm you recovered? Only the ni one 9mm was recovered. In an interesting twist, ACP Hilberto Romero confirms that a stolen 9mm pistol was also discovered in Leslie's vehicle. A 9mm pistol was found in his vehicle. Is it licensed? I understand it's licensed but stolen. Yes, it is a stolen firearm. It was reported stolen uh, about two weeks ago. Now, I understand a suspect is wanted in that alleged, uh, in that theft. Uh, yes, one person is wanted, yes. Is that person, a female, linked with the gang that Mr. Leslie? Uh, we, we do not know. We only have the two persons that were apprehended at this time as suspects. Leslie was no stranger to the law. He was one of several men charged for the November 2012 murder of BDS soldier James Norales. In 2015, he, along with Tyrone Maine and Brandon Baptist, was freed of the charge in a trial before Justice Trader Gonzalez. The DPP appealed the decision of the Supreme Court and a retrial was ordered by the Court of Appeal in 2017. In July 2018, the trio was once again acquitted of the murder. That same year, Leslie brought a lawsuit against the Belize Central Prison, claiming that he was mistreated and suffered harsh conditions while behind bars. He got ill several times, he was dehydrated. There were basic things like water that was reduced. They took away his deodorant, his toothpaste. He was not allowed to even go outside and have exercise. He was locked down in, sometimes not in all the cells, behind what they call the iron curtain. That means you have no ventilation, just a iron door with a little window which has a glass. It's a form of punishment. There's no electricity. You are literally placed in a dark, dark place. Um, no, no mattress, no sponge, nothing to sleep on except a cement slab. When we complain, eventually he got a sheet. There has been a simmering feud between rival gangs in Lake Independence, and Leslie was a known affiliate of the Bacalan Scripps. In a way, Leslie's execution was foreshadowed. In fact, News 5 understands that the persons detained following the shooting are members of the PIV gang. They were intercepted by police on a motorcycle near Palotti High School. They were on a stolen motorcycle. They were intercepted by the flag monument area, uh, by the Palotti roundabout. Can you confirm that these persons are connected with a gang in the city? Yes, they are connected. So is it is the indication that the, the, the murder of Mr. Leslie was uh, related to gang activity? That is correct. From what the police know, was he still involved with the gang at the time of his uh, murder? We have certain information uh, and we are following up uh, leads that we have. 
Uh, but I cannot confirm as if he was active in the gang at the same. Police are preparing for reprisal as a result of this murder. We are setting up a, an operation to minimize the threat of retaliation, but yes, we expect uh, some farmer retaliation. Dwayne Moody for News 5.